Hey everyone, this lecture is about hyperlinks. We'll learn how to set up hyperlinks to different columns and different cells instead. So let's uh, consider the case where you have a sheet where uh, you have a big list of different items, let's say, and it's having different items as well as their item codes and their price. And, a, and they have their URLs which is unique for each item. And you don't want to put your URL in a different column, instead you want it as a hyperlink on the component or the item code, wherever you want to. So there are multiple ways of doing this, obviously. One way is you can do it using mm, formulas. So it is very straightforward. So you need to uh, use formula uh, hyperlink in Excel. And it is very easy to write. Just type is equal to hyperlink and then put the reference of the URL. Uh, here we have it in D2 and then the friendly name which is the item code itself. And just drag it down and you'll see that you have uh, your item codes and there is a hyperlink on each item so this is very simple but we have it in a different column instead we want uh, let's say if we want uh, to have the hyperlink on the column itself then we can do it using VBA right so now we'll go into uh, VBA editor you can click alt F11 and just start writing the sub procedure sub micro K and and here uh, we need to write the all operations right so I'm renaming it to micro k underscore add a hyperlink so now see where we have our item codes we have it in c2 and my URL is in d2 and I want to loop it down till the total number of records so I'm writing a loop here for i is equal to 2 which is my starting row till 22 which is my last row okay so this is my outer shell for which I'm repeating my code and first of all I'll make sure that uh, my C2 range is selected so I'm selecting C2 and then in the loop I will use active cell dot hyperlinks right and I'll add hyperlink by using dot add operation and set its anchor to the text and my text is uh, the friendly name which is in C2 which, or uh, I can write selection for it and its address is the hyperlink so I can mention uh, my 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 actual path or, or, or hyperlink like this so I've selected C2 there set the anchor as C2 and the uh, address like this active cell dot offset and then uh, shift one row uh, one column to the right so 0 comma 1 0 is the row index and 1 is the column index I'm going to move one column uh, right to it dot value so this will set uh, the hyperlink on that column now we don't need any extra column here right so this will keep on uh, uh, setting the hyperlinks but I'll, I need to make sure that I select my next cell when I uh, move uh, to my uh, when my counter increments to the next value because initially my counter is on C2 <coughs> so now I have used uh, offset of one row here and if I run this program I'll go back to the VB editor I'm inserting a button to uh, run this program instead of uh, going to VB editor all the time and setting the macro here so whenever I will be clicking this button the that macro will get triggered and it will add, add the links to the uh, my uh, elements now there must be some spelling mistake yeah address stopping this and running it again and this added the hyperlinks without usage of any extra column we didn't require any column this was very straightforward and it simply converted my items to uh, items with uh, uh, hyperlink now suppose you want to refresh all these links or you want to remove the links 
uh, then it is also very straightforward go back to VB editor and write another procedure for deleting the hyperlinks sub micro k underscore remove hyperlink and just write range select the range from which where you want to remove the hyperlinks it is from c2 to c22 in this case and then dot hyperlinks and dot delete this will clear all the hyperlinks from the selected range if i run this you'll see that all the hyperlinks have been removed and if you want to refresh it again click on add button this is how we can control uh, adding or removal of the hyperlinks in our code uh, if you want to uh, increase the range you just need to increase the counter here we, we you can make it dynamic as well right and this is how you can control the list this is it for this session thank you very much for watching our tutorials goodbye